Now the last question is a little bit advanced. That is calculate the VWAP for each ticker, volume weighted average price. So now if you are able to realize that slowly and gradually we are going into deep algo trading. Welcome back to day 28 of the 100 days of hell with Python algo trading. In previous session, we have understood the group by object in Pandas. And today we will continue with the same as we have seen that how we can apply aggregate method on the group by object, like how we can uh, pass a dictionary in that, how we can pass a list. And now we'll continue with that and we'll see that how we can pass the combination of both dictionary and list. Let's say you have this group by object tickers here uh, which we have seen yesterday so if you are new to this video please watch the previous video to understand this better right so we have this tickers group by object and now we want to apply the aggregate method on this and let's say that on every column i want to apply multiple functions right so what i will do here i'll just copy and paste dictionary here and and now what we can do we can also pass a list here. So at this place, we'll pass a list. And let's say for volume, I want sum. Then I also want mean. And I also want standard deviation for the volume. So means here we are passing a dictionary first. And then at the values, we are passing a list. So we can have multiple operations on a single column. right? Similarly, for the price also, I want the max price. Again, I want the minimum price and I want, let's say, mean of the price, right? So now when I hit shift enter, you will see that we have a data frame with volume and price column. And inside that we have applied multiple functions. So on volume, we applied sum, mean and standard deviation. And again, on the price, we have applied the max, min and mean, right? So that's how you can use this functionality. And actually here the price is not the real that's why you are getting a little bit different values don't worry once you are finished with this we'll apply all these things on the live exchange okay and now we have looping on groups means we can apply loops on the group by object uh, how let me show you so we know that we have these stickers uh, group by object so what i will do here let's say for group and data in tickers and let's print the group and data. So when I hit shift enter, you can see here we have data frame here. And when I check this, the group is the name of the group and the data is the data frame. Means we can also apply loops on this group by object and we can like perform various uh, operations. Let's say I want to print the tickers. So what I will do here, I will just remove this, the name of group and I'll just keep the data. And here we know that we have a ticker column there and also we can apply, let's say unique method here. So it will give us only the unique values, right? And we know that we have only six unique values in our ticker column, right? Now we have the split apply and combine, which we have seen in the theoretical part that how it works. And let me show you again. So we have the stickers object here group by and then we can apply any function here right this apply is the inbuilt function of the pandas so here we can pass any function it will give you the minimum value based on the sky value on the objects and numerical value on the columns right so you can see here you can even apply max and you will get all the maximum values so on objects it will apply the sky values and on the numerical columns it will apply the normal numerical methods let's say if you want to apply group by on multiple columns so we know that this is our original data frame and we also know that we apply group by on only categorical data so here we know that this sticker is categorical column this exchange is also categorical column so what i'll do here i'll write group by and then i'll pass a list here so first i'll pass ticker i want this to be grouped by with the tickers then what i'll do i'll write buy and sell this one it will show us that on every ticker the different buy and sell groups so when i hit shift enter key error tickers i guess it is ticker so we have to correct this and we have this uh, group by object and now we can get the size of this so 
this is the size you can see here that in apple we do not have cell column so that's why it is giving only one value right we can also group by with the exchange so let's say i pass here another column that is exchange and now when i check it will show us that on apple we have only buy and we did only on nyse correct btc we have only sell column and that was done only on binance right in future we will perform all these operations on the live exchanges so please focus on this and try to understand this completely okay let's say if you want to print particular group so you know that we have these many groups here the apple by nyse msft by nyse xrp sell coin base so let's say i want this eth by and by bit so what i will do here i'll just copy first this object from here and then i'll give get group and here we have to pass a tuple right so what i will do here we have to pass this eth and then we have to pass the buy bit here correct so when you hit shift enter you will see that we have a data frame with the particular group which we have mentioned in the command right now we have aggregate on multiple group buys so for that what we can do i'll just go here and i will copy and paste and assign to a different variable let's say i'll make it as ticker exchange the variable name and then i'll run this cell right and here we'll pass a list of functions which we want to apply on this group by object so i'll write max i'll write min and now when i shift enter you will see that we have a data frame with max and min apply on all the columns right you can see here on timestamp on price volume trade id and it will show the maximum value and the minimum value right okay now let's practice some real life questions which we will be doing on day by day operations so this is our original data frame right the first question is how many trades were executed for each ticker so for that what we will do we'll first group by with the ticker so we'll get a group by object it is asking for the number of trades so for that we can use count we can use size but here we'll be using the size method it will give us the total number of rows for every ticker and that means the total number of trades right so before that let me tell you that where we can apply the group by so whenever you see this each in any question you can apply group by at that place means first we have to find each ticker and for that we can group by with the ticker right then it is asking the average price means we can fetch this column from that group by object and then the average means we can apply the mean method right so i'll just copy and paste this group by object from here and then i can fetch the price column right so i'll write price so you will get a object with the price column and then we can just simply use the mean method and you will have the mean price for every ticker right similarly the next question is what is the total volume traded for each ticker means we have to apply the group by object right so first we will apply the group by on ticker and then it is asking the volume means we'll fetch this column the volume one right and on that it is asking the total means we can use this sum method so i'll quickly copy this a group by object and then i can fetch the volume column from this and now we know that we can apply the sum function right and we'll have the total volume of each ticker next question is that what is the price of the first trade for each ticker so means it is asking only the first trade means the first row and similarly for each ticker means first we will group by with the ticker so means the same group by object right then the question is the price so again we can fetch with the price column you just have to understand the question carefully you will get answer automatically don't worry about that right then then the key here is that it is asking for the first trade means the first row and if you remember we have seen that how we can extract the first row we can simply apply this first method and you will get the first row of every ticker means the first row from the price column and you will be having the first similarly you can also use the last let me uh, show you and you will get the last 
price right let me correct it again and we'll keep it first only now the next question is what is the total trading volume on each exchange for each hour of the day i'll copy it from here and i'll paste it here for now you can see that it is object only so what i'll do here i'll simply use the inbuilt object that is to date time and here we have to just pass the column so this is the column right the exchange dfn uh, timestamp and now when i hit ship enter you will see that it has been changed from object to date time right and now we can use the attribute dt dot r and we'll get the results in the r if you remember we have seen previously when we uh, filtered the data frame in quarter so we only wanted the first second and third quarter results right similarly here we can get the hours if you want here you can even change it to month and you will get all the months right but for now we only need r so i'll write r and now we can add a new column to our existing data frame exchange df and i'll write the name r and it will be the new column of our exchange df data frame right so now when you check the exchange df you will see that we have a new column added right the r and the question was what is the total trading volume on each exchange for each hour of the day and now it's very simple we just have to group by with the volume and r so what i'll do here i'll write exchange df dot group by and here i can pass first the volume and then the r right and now when i shift enter we'll get the object with the volume and r group by and it is asking for the sum right the total means we can apply sum here simply and you will get we have to wait actually here we wanted the volume so we have to fetch that and now we'll get the sum of every hour right so now the next question is what is the total buy and sell volume for each ticker each ticker means we have to group by with the ticker and also we have to group by with separate buy and sell so let's quickly do that uh, we have this exchange tf and inside that we have this buy and sell right first we'll calculate what the buy so we'll apply filter equal to equal to buy and we'll get a boolean series right and here we can again make it as a mask and we'll get only the buy right and here now we have to calculate the volume right so i'll group by first with the ticker because we have to calculate for each ticker so we'll get a group by object and then we know that we need to calculate the volume so i will just fetch the volume and we'll again get a group by object and now we can simply calculate this sum and you will get the sum of apple eth and microsoft because only in these uh, tickers we had the buy similarly for the sell what you can do you can just change it to sell and you will see that we have for btc google and xrp the sell volume so if you want you can just print both the values or you can assign let's say the buy volume and not but it's buy and again the sell volume you can simply uh, print buy volume again the sell volume and you will be having the buy and sell you just need a little bit of practice and you will be good to go right now the last question is a little bit advanced that is calculate the vweb for each ticker volume weighted average price so now if you are able to realize that slowly and gradually we are going into deep algo trading we'll be understanding various technical terms of algo trading and you let me know that if you want to have a separate video where we can understand all these kinds of terminologies right so to calculate the volume weighted average price you need to know the formula to calculate the same so what we can do you can simply do a google search so let me open the google and let me show you so this is our google and you simply type vweb you can see that this is the formula which says 
sum of volume into price divide by sum of volume right so you can just copy it and paste it in your notebook and let's say here right okay now we can quickly calculate this so what we will do it is the question is it is asking us the vwap for each ticker each ticker means we have to group by with the ticker so let me quickly do that exchange okay it's marked down we have to have a code exchange exchange df dot group by with the ticker right so we'll be having a group by object then then what we can do we can apply the lambda function here right so for that so we have to apply a lambda function here so i'll write lambda here i'll write lambda x then the formula so it is the sum of volume into price so to find first the volume we'll write the volume and multiplied by the price so x and then price correct you can again like check here the name of the columns so it doesn't mess up so you can see here we have the price and the volume that is correct right so we have to find the sum of these right so i'll just apply the sum here sum of volume into price then divide by the sum of volume so simply sum of volume so i can write sum and now when you hit shift enter you will get the vwap volume weighted average price for each ticker so let's do that and you will see that you have the vwap for each ticker it's very simple you can apply any formula don't worry we'll do complex and complex things in upcoming videos for now we are just building up the base so that was it for this video i'll keep all these exercise and everything in the, the github i'll just push that and you can let me know if you have any issues and we'll see you in the next video until then take care bye bye and have a nice day